what are some concepts in the pickup community that people get completely wrong? And what are some of the most common mistakes you see guys make in the game? Yeah, um, concepts people get wrong. I mean, the, the most common one um, that you see by like the wider community or media is going to be along the lines of negging or like manipulating. I think that's something a lot of people get wrong and probably like within game, a lot of guys get probably negging wrong. It comes from this like really butthurt place. Um, and similar to that, probably prize framing is the second biggest thing that I see guys at a learning game get wrong is they convince themselves or really they don't convince themselves. They lie to themselves that I'm good enough to get any goal right and i'm better than any fucking girl and by the way they're wrong okay you're probably can't get any girl and you're probably not better than half the girls out there just to be honest like the average guy right that's not the case um and so it's important to be like realistic a little bit here with your mindsets and the uh the thoughts that you're trying to tell yourself because something we've found when it comes to this idea of okay i'll just have these little phrases that i'll tell myself over and over if you don't actually believe them, it doesn't help. It actually makes it worse because every time you tell yourself, I can get any girl I want, what's really happening is you're lying to yourself. And then the other side of your brain is being like, no, you can't dig it. Okay. There's no way you can get any girl you want. And that's what's really uh, subconsciously like hammering you over and over again. So um, when it comes to like prize framing, what you really have to do is think about this more as an interview in the fact that, okay, I actually need to demonstrate my value and like why I would be good for this position or company. And then when I'm actually hired, when I'm in there and when I demonstrate all that, that's where you got some bargaining power. That's where you can be like, look, I don't want to do this. I want to get paid more, whatever it might be. And the same with dating. If you just rock up to a girl with zero value whatsoever, or like you open a message straight away and you're like, tell me three good things about you. Otherwise I'm leaving. Or, you know, you, you start speaking to a girl and you're like, why should I even talk to you? And all shit like, like if you have no value, that's never going to work. It's actually going to have the opposite effect. It's going to be like an anti-frame. It's going to trigger the girl's ego and she's going to tell you to fuck off. Okay. So when it comes to prize framing, that needs to come. You're only the prize once she sees you as the prize. That's like pretty much it. Like you need to demonstrate all your value first. She needs to be attracted. Then you can start prize framing. Then you can start getting her to chase. Then you can ask these like heavily qualifying questions. Before that, settle the fuck down, okay? Stop trying to like convince yourself otherwise. And look, it's okay with like not being good enough for half the girls out there when you're starting out. Like, fuck you guys, okay? I'm, I'm, I struggled in game, okay? It took me ages to get over cover approach. It took me ages to like first out of pool. Like, then I got really good, okay? But I had to go through that struggle process too. Don't expect like you get into game, you rock up, you're like, I should deserve every fucking goal. No, you need to learn to be a better person. You need to develop your communication skills. You need to develop your sex skills. Once you do all that, then you can start looking at yourself and being like, okay, like before maybe I did deserve maybe like these goals that, kind of average or like weren't that fucking engaging to talk to but the better i get at this the more like i see myself as this high value guy the more i become that high value guy now yeah i do deserve like the types of goals that i actually want and when you get to that point amazing but develop yourself until you get there um so i think those are the two biggest ones this idea of like trying to neg um comes off like really poorly all the times so it needs to be very subtle and basically like the whole premise behind negging is that you're just showing you're not this like pussy nice guy so you can disagree it doesn't have to be like nice nails or they fake you can just like disagree with a girl she's like i'm from columbia it's the best place in the world you're like fuck no i've been to columbia i hated it right it was pretty shit to be honest right it can just be like a genuine disagreement it doesn't have to be that aggressive but um and then when it comes to prize framing develop your value first i think these are probably the two biggest things people fuck up but while i'm gonna rant there's so many other things people fuck up, okay? People fuck up retention. They lie to girls about how many uh, fucking girls they slept with. They suck at like sexual escalation. Then it's all physical. They suck at LMR. They think, oh, I need to like escalate, pull back, escalate, pull back. Instead of just like dealing with a fucking concern. When it comes to concerns, people are just like two second adventure. They think it's all emotional and girls don't have a fucking logical brain. They do, okay? If she's saying I have to be up in the morning, stop just telling a two second adventure. Deal with it. I have to be up in the morning. Listen, I'll give you an Uber. Won't be a late night. Um, people fuck up everything when it comes to games. It's crazy. Um, which goes back to why you need mentoring. But uh, anyway, that's my rant. <laughs> my mic drop. Um, I like it. That's good. I think. I think. Uh, um, 
it's so it's so interesting when someone gives a really good response how you don't want to like make that like you don't know how to respond for there you're just like oh yeah that works uh, what else can i add so I, I guess i'll just add my thing and 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 i guess this is this is just part of my my recent clients that i've had and it's uh and and you call it prize i just called it ego like egotistic personalities without any backing to it like they just expect that they should be good with these girls like i'll give an example when i was a kid when I was like 15, 16, and I wanted to like get better with women, one of the things that I had to do was drop my ego because every man thinks they can do three things. Every man thinks they can pick up a girl, uh, they can win in a fight, and they can make money. The fact of the matter is most men can't do all three. They can't do anything. So by me, it was real funny by me actually going, no, I suck with women. I really suck. Uh, I need to get some coaching. I need to get better. I need to find out. I need to be like, look, I suck. I need, I need the basics. Uh, all my friends couldn't relate with me and because they had that ego there of like, no, I'm good. I'm good. And, uh, you know, finally, you know, fast forward, it's like me at 29 versus them at 29. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I dropped my ego back then. But one of the things that I work with a lot with the clients is this idea. I call it the seven pillars of status, where I basically there are seven, these seven pillars where I get the guys to rank themselves on how valuable they are in the world based on different questions. And if you ask most men what they are, they're like a seven out of 10, because that's a very uh, socially acceptable number. It's like, you're not bragging. You're not like a 10 out of 10. You're not a, a four out of 10, because if you said I'm a four out of 10, most people are like, no, you're not. You're, you're better than that. But uh, a lot of a lot of time, the way men rank themselves as a seven out of ten is they base it on how they rank women, which is majority of the times looks. But how a woman ranks a man, like you know, he's attractive, he's not attractive, he's he's desirable, he's not desirable, is on a lot of different factors. So we get the guys to go through all seven factors, and what comes out is a number at the end. They divide it by seven, and then they get like an actual universal value number for themselves. And you'd be sh shocked and surprised that most of these guys that have these big egos don't have the backing behind them and they get a score like 3.4. And so like, you, you, I'm like, this is your actual number in society. You're a 3.4 out of 10. And it like crushes their soul because then they realize like, the reason why they're not getting good with girls is one of the things they're not valuable in this world. They don't have what is desirable, what is, you know, attractive in this world. So an example is like, they don't have a social network. They don't have lots of money. They don't have a uh, social media. They don't have uh, communication skills. Uh, they don't, they lack the idea of leadership and the understanding of just being natural and, and, and relaxed in conversations and all these kind of things, the, the understanding logistics, they might be in a bad country. They might not be in the right kind of place. They might be four or five hours away from the, the local hotspot. So all of these factors add up and, and what, what we, what I li like to get a lot of guys is I see this ego with no backing towards it. And then when you crush them with my, with my system, you crush their, their soul they go, oh, okay. And just getting them towards like a, a four or five or six, you'll see their actual life improve, drastically improve. Because we think that like a seven out of 10, seven out of 10 is basically well above average. And so most guys working around are a, a, a two, three or four out of out of 10. And no, no wonder they're not getting girls because their whole life sucks. Like everything about them sucks. They're, they're losing. They're not even, a, they're, they have no winner effect. They're not on an upward spiral, they're on a downward spiral. And these are the guys that got the most ego being like, girls should just come up and approach me. Girls should do this. I should have the baddest girl. And it's like, you've done nothing to deserve it. You've done nothing. You've dropped no ego. You've, you've actually uh, pretty much live in a delusional reality. It's okay to live in a delusional reality if you're making efforts towards shortening that gap but most of these guys just expect this shit to happen i think that was like the biggest thing that i saw and that's that's even gone back since the day of like 2013 that, that that's been a huge thing these guys just expecting this shit and just never happens and they get so frustrated and then they go and they become an incel or they just start blaming the community and it's like well you were the problem the whole time your your mind and how you've conjugated everything and and and, and back in the back before marcus saying grabbed evidence to back up your theories it's like you're you're your worst enemy, and so a lot of people don't have the heart to drop their ego and and to tell themselves that they're the person that are holding themselves back because that would completely crush their reality. So they're not they're not even honest with themselves. So I, I would say that that would be my biggest sticking point that I have. That if I see guys do that, they progress rapidly. If they don't do that, they don't they don't at all.